Okay. Hello there. Okay, I bought a binder from Tea Kingdom. And since when I was looking up about the different binders and trying to get more information on them since the, the Tea Kingdom website doesn't really have a very detailed pictures or anything, I was looking on YouTube and I found a few other videos where people were talking about binders and even um, demonstrating them to see what they look like and talking about good things and bad things about them. So I thought I would do the same thing here. Um, I ended up getting this model 690 in black and I got a size medium. Actually, according to the website's little sizing chart, I should have been a size small, but they, for whatever reason, they only had this one available in medium and large. So, I decided to get the medium one because I figured I usually like sports bras loose anyway because it bothers me when it's too tight across the chest. So this is it. It, it got here really fast, like in less than a week. And let's see, another reason I bought this one is because it's like one of the cheapest ones and I figured I'd try out, see what it was like without wasting too much money. And um, it's really a good thing that I got the medium and not a small, even if they had a small, because it is really sort of tight for me, even on a medium, even like, like on this, I end up putting it like right at the edge and it's still a little bit tight. It's, it's okay like this. Anyway, this is the binder. And like, like they found on the website, it's got sort of a soft, stretchy material in back. And the whole front part here, it's this thick, elastic stuff material. And uh, so, and you take it apart on the side and it's got Velcro. Well, now one problem I have with the Velcro is because I'm, I am just putting it on the edge and not covering the whole Velcro is that when I do this, the, the inside part here, it tends to rub against my skin uncomfort, uncomfortably, uncomfortably, yes. So, so I found that if I just turn it inside out instead, it, it's more comfortable. Um, Okay, so anyway, this is what I look like without wearing it, without wearing a bra at all. And this is one of my really thin, slinky shirts with no pockets or anything, so you can sort of tell. And I'm about a size B in bras. But like, anyway, normally I would not wear this shirt in public, definitely not without a, at least a sports bra underneath, because it's like, you can just see too much, too pointy, too... Uh, so anyway, this is me. I'm going to turn the camera off and put it on and, and then do a comparison. <clears throat> okay. Okay, here I am again. This is with the binder on. And it does flatten things pretty nicely. Um, I, mean, I like it. It really looks good. And, and it's really, it is more comfortable than a tight sports bra because um, unlike a sports bra, the elastic's all the way across it, whereas a sports bra turns out this strip around here, and with me, it's usually ends up being really tight, and, and that's what I don't like about it. Um, so anyway, it flattens pretty good. It, it makes it straight across the chest. Um, And like you see, can see, I've just got it on the very edge there. And that's on the outside because I've got it inside out. And another thing I wanted to mention is I haven't worn this like for very long. I've just been trying it on so far. But I'm not sure if I were to wear it all day because of this tight elastic stuff and it's just this one layer. It doesn't have any padding or anything. It's sort of rough, so I'm not sure if across my nipples wearing this all day, it, it, that might be uncomfortable. I was thinking, if so, I could 
like show a little layer of softer fabric underneath. But I'm not sure about that yet. Yeah, I'll find out. Um, let's see. That's all I can think of. Anyway, there's my little review. I hope it's helpful.